Welcome to day five of the 12 days of Christmas. Today I'm going to be showing you how to take a plain pair of socks and personalise them for a Christmas gift. You could um, roll them up and put them into a hot chocolate mug or pair them with some slippers or anything like that and make a nice little gift set with them. So let's get started. Okay so I've got my socks and I've taken the packaging off and what I want to do is put my hand inside like this because the design is going to go on this part and that just makes it a little bit easier for me to open that bit up like that and the same for this one just want to put my hand inside and then I just want to measure the space that I've got so about five inches that way and about just over two inches in the width five inches, two inches. and then I'm going to cut my design out weed it and then I will show you how I apply it to the socks Okay, so what I want to do first is enter a template so I know what size to make my design. So I'm going to put in a square and then unlock the size so that I can change it into a rectangle. the other way around and then I'm just going to duplicate this because see I've got two socks and then I'm going to change the colour to pink because that's what colour my socks are And then I'm going to search in images and I want to find the deer center ones because I want the deer part of this. I don't want the Santa so what I'm going to do is enter a square, cover the Santa, highlight both and then click slice and now I can delete the Santa part and then I've got deer here. So if I make that slightly smaller. Then I want to enter my text and type in center. So on this sock I want Dear Santa and I'm just going to change one of the letters so I'm going to head over to the character map and then this is the font I'm using so I just want to 
find I think I'll go with this A so I've copied that I'm going to go back into Cricut and I want to delete that A and just paste in the one that I've just copied from character map you will need to play around with the layout but I'll do that in a second because I want to change the T as well so I'm going to go back to character map and I want I'm going to go for yeah I like the other one better so I'm going to go for this one copied that back into Cricut Design Space and again just want to delete the T and then paste that in there and now what I want to do is go to advanced and ungroup to letters and this allows me to move the letters to where I want them I'm just going to select all of these I just want to make it slightly smaller move this A across just slightly and there we go so now I'm going to highlight them all again and click attach and then for the other sock I want to enter need to find a font for this one um, that was a bit big go with that one and then I want to add some more text and type in cute mm, and I'll put the holidays at Christmas one again
In fact, I think I'll move this one over here. And then I can move this up. And move that one up. see what letters we've got that we can change in naughty just to make that a little bit more fancy hmm, could go for that one see how that looks um, just going to enter that in here. And then I want to ungroup to letters again and just move that across. both of these and then move these across and I want to highlight all of these letters and make it a tiny bit smaller like that these letters won't bring them closer together as well advanced on group letters might change the T on this cute as well um, put this one again There we go, and again, advanced, don't group to letters, and I just want to move this across, just make it slightly bigger, and then move this one across. Actually, no, I think I preferred the way it looked before. So this is the design that I want and I want to change the centre to red because I'm going to cut that out in a different colour and I want to change naughty I want to attach it first and then change that to red. And the same with cute. I'm going to change that to red as well. Okay, so now my design is ready and it's all lined up where I want it to be and I can remove these um, templates now. 
so now I want to select all of the black text and I want to attach all of those together you want to make sure that you don't click on any of the red text because then it will change it back to black and it will attach it to all of these so it won't cut out on a different colour and then I'm just going to click on make it so now I just want to attach um, both of these so Dia and I'm to find it it's that one I want to attach those two together and then this one and this just so that they cut out on in the right place on the mat And then I want to click on make it. Don't forget to mirror your design because we're going to be using heat transfer vinyl. And then click continue. I'm going to be using everyday iron on for the first one and then I will change to the glitter vinyl once I'm ready to cut that one so now I just want to load my mat into the machine and then I'm ready to cut the design Okay, so I've finished weeding my designs and now I'm just setting the temperature on my Cricut Easy Press to 160 degrees Celsius. And I'm going to set the timer for 15 seconds. And I'm just going to wait for that to heat up. Whilst I'm waiting for the easy press to heat up, I'm just going to lay out my design so that I know roughly where I want them to be. The excess off here. Oh, I'm using the water. Now.
Well, there we go, that's all of those and I should be able to press all of these in one go because there's no overlaps. So I'm just going to cover those with my Teflon sheet. In fact, I'm going to set the timer to 30 seconds because I'm doing it all in one go. And then I want to place my Cricut on top and apply medium pressure. Want to gently remove the carrier sheet. Okay, so those two haven't quite stuck properly, so I'm just going to remove that sock. And then I'm going to put my Teflon sheet back over. And I'm just going to press that for another couple of seconds. Maybe for like 10 seconds. Stuck down there. And so is that part. Just going to turn these bits off. And there we have it. Personalised Christmas socks. Put them both all together difficult to see how sparkly they are on the uh, camera obviously there's already sparkles on here as well which is why there's that there but that doesn't matter too much you can still read it you can still see what it says So thanks again for watching, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, if there's anything you would like to see in particular in the future then please comment down below and also if you're enjoying my content then please subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. Thank you.